From redesigning to repurposing, this now serene venue has also been through a beautiful transformation. Let's see what else Ivy has to share. For a building of over 100 years old, stories permeate through these walls. And revitalization is a way of communicating these stories and strengthens its connection with the community and its environment. I wonder how it all came to fruition. Let's find out. These stories have certainly helped create a lore about this place, and by the way it looks now, the attention to detail has also made the journey through its different buildings and its ambience easy to appreciate. A rarity in this city. So as an architect who's worked with art centres before and also school architecture, what is so special about this place? This project actually is the, uh, the first batch of the our scheme That's about the revitalization yeah, yeah, scheme. correct exactly the our scheme so about 15 years ago this one is the first batch and this is actually a scheme that is uh, proposed by the government to invite a non-profit government uh, organization ask them to propose to convert and then subsequently mm -hmm. operate at that time we took on the project actually there's not much uh, knowledge about uh, preservation of buildings, um, how we do uh, conservation in Hong Kong. So actually the team has to do a lot of uh, research and uh, find out the way how we do this uh, conservation. But uh, as uh, our scheme, there is a fundamental uh, principle is to respect the historical site and historical building as well. So uh, the intervention that we put into the site and the historical building has to be uh, minimal but has to be strategic uh, in a way that to bring out the historical value and the cultural ambience of the site and the building. Diversity is also one thing very important because it's really interest yeah. uh, is make the city less boring. So in fact this uh, whole complex has a lot of different functions. The client actually uh, wish to create a cultural complex. Mm -hmm. So for the low zone, we convert into a uh, exhibition area. And then for the middle zone, this is a cultural uh, area with different functions, including studios, theaters, uh, also restaurant, and also a uh, uh, resource center. And then the upper zone uh, is convert to hotel. So all this uh, is an interesting mix. So how, how we can then bring that together, the one thing, uh, the challenges, uh, the uh, connectivity. Because uh, we have uh, 29 buildings in this building terrain. So how we can connect them is the uh, major challenge. So you can see we have incorporated some new lift, also uh, accessible ramp and disabled platform, but they are all strategically placed in a location that you don't see them. So you know, not to affect the ambience of this environment and also the uh, nice landscape of this environment. So this is uh, actually the principle of the uh, conservation. The intervention, you have to be minimal but strategic. Are there any characteristics that you honestly try to preserve um, no matter what? Uh, we have to look at what actually is the so-called the character defining element. Character defining element. Yeah. What, what are those? So now in here, uh, the red brick, oh. the Chinese roof tile, the wooden window, and even the uh, scenic landscape. They are all the character defining element of this uh, interesting site. Such as the red brick, you can see uh, here. Yes. So actually, they are all previously covered by the white plaster. Oh, is that right? Yeah. When we first do this building. Uh, in Hong Kong, there is no one has done this before. No uh, one has done this before. Removing the white plaster and then rebuilding uh, the red brick. Oh, so, I see. So the team actually researched in a different way together with the contractor. Basically, is have to we have to saw cut the plaster and then use handheld tools to remove bit by bit the wow. plastering. So I noticed that we are surrounded by the nature. Was there a thought process behind all of the plants? I think you notice here is uh, the environment is very natural. Yeah. So uh, the idea is uh, not to create too many artificial uh, man-made uh, environment. So in fact, in our team, we have a landscape architect. He did uh, quite a detailed research 
onto the uh, surrounding, including the uh, species, wow. and also uh, when the actually the trees and the uh, shrub will be flowering. Mm. So and then uh, strategically we add uh, new plants to enhance the whole uh, natural setting. What was so meaningful about this project to you? Mm. So as an architect, I think. Uh, Preserving architectural heritage is always one of our important agenda. And also myself as a practicing urban designer, to me actually um, preserving the cultural identity of the city is also a very important thing. And uh, without the cultural identity, Hong Kong is not Hong Kong. So Tim, are you a coffee person? 我不喝咖啡的。哦,你最喜歡咖啡。為什麼?哦,因為其實我很喜歡的,這間咖啡店大家就以為是一個咖啡師開的。Yeah。但是如果他們邀請我的時候呢,其實我本身是一個搞活動
一百年嘅歷史嘅地方，咁我都好希望可以透過呢間咖啡店去帶動多啲人去認識香港嘅咁好嘅歷史建築啦。Yeah, I see. So it used to be that people come in here to see the, the heritage site, and then they come in here to see the, the cafe and they just, you know, have a drink, right? But because of your efforts and you know creating the, these Instagrammable spots, they they come here first and then they see, oh wow, I didn't know that there was this. This place is actually a 100 year old historic site. So you're actually doing your part to educate. People about heritage in Hong Kong, mm. so that's actually really meaningful. Mm. Revitalization preserves important parts of our history. It creates space for us to appreciate it from a different angle. Take the red bricks, for example. It's not just a building material; it represents the efforts from the craftsmen and also its historical origins. Clearly, the more you explore, the more you discover. And history, once found, is always an eye-opener.